everyone, Mr. Munnan here, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. I am here to give you a little bit of help to solve your student versus beast unit rate project. So let's start at the beginning. This is the table that you would have seen on the worksheet I gave you in class to help you solve, uh, to help you work through this project. Um, and the easiest column for you to fill in is going to be this first column because that's your speed. So you'll remember from when you were running what your 100 meter time was. You're going to write your 100 meter time in this row right over here. And let's suppose that my 100 meter time was uh, 17.5 seconds. You can use that information to help you fill in your theoretical time for these other distances. So let's say I'm going to fill in my 1 meter time. It's going to be 17.5 divided by 100. So that's 0.175. And then my 50 meter time would be 50 times that. So I can use my calculator, do 0.175 times 50, and I get 8.75. And I go on and fill in the rest of this. Remember, what this column tells you that it takes you 17.5 seconds to run 100 meters. It takes you 8.75 seconds to run 50 meters. And it takes you 0.175 seconds to run 1 meter. So this column is giving you a unit rate that is seconds per one meter. Remember that because that is going to be super important for you to know once you start comparing the speeds of your animals. So let's start filling in these columns for our animals. And I'm just going to show you one animal, and that's going to be a lion. So you would do some research and you would find the speed of a lion, and I've done it here. A lion's top running speed is 80 kilometers per hour. My first step is to convert 80 kilometers per hour into meters per second. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to convert 80 kmh to meters per second. So that's 22.22 meters per second. So 80 kilometers per hour. Let's make a new page. So 80 kilometers per hour equals 22.2. I'm recording a screencast. Girls, you didn't do your job. Turn around, turn around, turn around. 22.22 meters per second. So now that I have that, notice that there's a difference between meters per second and seconds per meter. So now we need to do a conversion. So I'm going to make a table. And this is a rate table. I'm comparing meters. And I'm comparing seconds. This tells me that a lion goes 22.22 meters, meters in one second. I need to find how long it takes him to go one meter. And that's why that one goes there. So now this is just a basic unit rate problem. To get from 22.22 to 1, I need to divide it by itself. So I'm going to do 22.22 divided by 22.22. I'm going to do the same thing to seconds. It's going to be 1 divided by 22.22. So I'm going to use a calculator now again. That's 1 divided by 22.22. So it takes 0 0.045. Seconds for a lion to go one meter. So I'm going to say that again. It takes a lion 0 0.045 seconds to go one meter. Now I can fill that into my chart, into my table. So one meter is 0 0.045 seconds. And now I can use that to fill in the rest of this. So 0 0.045 times 50. So lion's 50 meter time is 2.25 seconds, and his 100 meter time is 4.5 seconds, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, your line goes pretty fast because its 100 meter time is 4.5 seconds. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to come see me, um, and I'm happy to give you more help. Because I did just give you a lion as an example, this unfortunately means that you cannot use the lion in your project if you watch the video. 
Anyway, good luck. As always, I'm here to help. Thanks for watching.